What's up guys, today I'll be showing you how to create a bootable USB pen drive um, uh, for Windows 7. So all you need is a um, USB pen drive, 8GB or more, a Windows 7 or Windows 8 or any other operating system, ISO or DMG file. I'll be posting a Windows 7 one down there in the description and I'll show you now how to create it using bootcamp on Mac so first of all you'll go to your launchpad you'll type boot and you'll click on bootcamp assistant click on continue okay check only the create a USB Windows 7 or later version install this sorry create a windows 7 or later version install disk so all you need is a usb flash drive and a windows 7 or later version iso image downloaded from microsoft so we'll click continue so you you need to have your usb plugged in uh you'll choose your file i'll be typing windows 7 this mac here I have the uh, Windows 7 Ultimate 32 bit service pack 1 ISO, so I'll open it. Here's my USB pen drive. So it said the, date, the data in the selected drive will be lost after it is formatted. So all you're gonna do is it's gonna format your USB drive to create the uh, bootable USB drive. So we'll click continue. Ignore. Uh, it says the disk will be erased, the selected drive will be erased and all the data on it will be lost. Do you want to continue? So I'll click continue. And it's formatting so you can just, I'll just uh, come back once it's finished. So um, Bootcamp has already finished uh, to copy the Windows file and format my USB pen drive so I'll just show you right now it says your bootable USB drive has been created the selected drive has been formatted and the Windows installation image has been copied so we'll just quit you can find it over here you can click on it you just don't use those um, I'll be back um, to show you how to boot inside the USB pen drive and boot inside Windows so I'll be back this is my USB pen drive. Um, we created earlier my bootable Windows 7 32 bit service package one. And here's my Mac. So you can see it says MacBook Air. So we'll turn this on. While turning it on, you need to hold the Alt key or the Option key. So you can go into your starting or boot menu. So here, as you can see, it says, um, I'm trying to focus. So it says actually Windows or Macintosh. So you'll click, so you'll go navigate to Windows and click enter. So right now you'll see it will go into a black screen shows their booting from bootcamp created USB drive and your windows it loading files so we'll just wait it takes about one minute 30 seconds doesn't take long I won't go to the installation part so because I don't need to install it again you will go into the installation part and install it on a disk partition you've created so I'll show you later so we'll just wait here so it says starting windows so we're now starting windows 7 you'll see it right now here we go with the windows sign microsoft corporation starting windows and this is the windows 7 booting sign
here we go to the setup part here is the famous cursor Windows 7 cursor so here is the installation part so it says here it asks the language your input language uh, your time currency format so you will click on next and here is the install now button so you will install it I won't install it because I don't need to install it so you will install it if you just want to quit all this you will just do like me now you just hold your power button and it will shut down in, turn on your Mac again and it should turn on on Macintosh on your OS X Yosemite or Mavericks or whatever you, OS X you have so here it's booting as you see on my Mac thank you guys for watching this video I hope you liked it I hope it helped you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting some other videos soon, so stay tuned. Data Club. All rights reserved.